Now at five. It was just so much gunfire. 26 lives lost during Sunday services. One thing that gives me a sliver of encouragement is the fact that Belle was surrounded yesterday by her church family that she loved fiercely. Tonight, the search for a motive in the Texas church shooting. And tonight it appears that police may be closer to figuring out that motive. But in a small town where everyone knows everyone else, that won't do much to ease the pain surrounding the loss of 26 lives. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is in the control room with the day's developments. Elliot. Well, Rick and Ruta Bay authorities in Texas say the mass shooting at the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs stemmed from a domestic incident. They say the gunman's in-laws were members of the church but were not present when the carnage took place during Sunday services. Frank and I want to say thank you to all the outpouring of love for our family. For Pastor family Frank friends. Pomeroy and his wife Sherry returned from out of town to talk about the deadly shooting at their church Sunday that killed 26 people, including their 14 year old daughter, Annabelle. One thing that gives me a sliver of encouragement is the fact that Belle was surrounded yesterday by her church family that she loved fiercely, and vice versa. The victims ranged in age from 18 months to 77 years old. In Japan, President Trump expressed condolences to the victims, calling their deaths an act of evil, but stopping short of calling for tougher gun laws. I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. This was a, a very, based on preliminary reports, very deranged individual, a lot of problems over a long period of time. We have a lot of mental health problems in our country, as do other countries. Investigators identified the gunman as 26-year-old Devin Kelly, who lived about 35 miles away. It was just so much gunfire. Authorities say he opened fire on the church, went inside, and kept firing his assault rifle. When he left the church, a man who lives across the street engaged him in a gun battle. Johnny Langendorf said the neighbor got in his truck and they chased after the gunman. We were doing about 90, 95, going down 539. Um, I was trying to calm the gentleman, stay on the phone with dispatch, and keep up with this, this other guy until finally he lost control of his vehicle, hit the bar ditch. Police say the gunman was on the phone during the high-speed chase. We know during that pursuit, the suspect used his cell phone to notify his father that he had been shot and didn't think he was going to make it. Subsequently, he uh, uh, shot himself. Authorities say this was a domestic situation. They say Kelly sent his mother-in-law threatening text messages. Kelly served in the Air Force, but was court-martialed in 2012 on charges of assaulting his spouse and child. He received a bad conduct discharge. Now, Kelly should have been barred from owning guns after his conviction for assaulting his wife and stepson, but police say he had two handguns in his car in addition to the assault rifle found at the scene. Police believe Kelly died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Rick and Ruta Bay, back to you.